Since the Canon ESR5 was announced, everyone has been worried that their computer won't be able to handle and edit 8K footage. And while at the same time you cannot expect to render that type of a resolution on a 10 year old computer, in this video I'm going to be showing you three simple steps that I do to edit 8K footage on Final Cut Pro 10 using the Canon EOS R5 at 24 frames per second. And this is going to help you to work faster and more efficient on your computer. So let's don't waste some more time and let's check it out. Hey guys, this is Family of Tech, and on this channel, I do a lot of camera filmmaking and drone videos to help you get the most out of your camera. So if you're new here, click the subscribe button and all the gear we talk on this video, you're gonna find links in the description below. So let's jump right into the video. So if you already have this camera or planning on getting the new Canon ESR R5, you know that you can shoot 8K video in different formats, including RAW, all eye, IPB, up to 30 frames per second. I've been shooting with this camera for the last couple of days and to tell you the truth I was a little bit intimidated that I wasn't going to be able to edit 8K files on my computer because what other people have been saying about the camera. But so far I'm happy to tell you that I have not encountered any problems whatsoever with overheating or any issues editing 8K files on the computer. Granted, I've mostly been shooting b-roll inside the office and not outside and I don't shoot video for extended time like other people. Mostly, I'm using the camera to shoot stills and to shoot b-roll for my YouTube content. So every case is different, but I guess I'm lucky that I can edit all my footage. If you're interested, the gear that I'm using to take 8K video on this camera is a ProGrade CF Express Cobalt card that you can see right here, and I transfer the files using the same reader from the same company. Links are gonna be down below. If you want to see the specs of my computer that I'm currently using, I will link it down below so you can check it out as well. And I think that as long as you have a similar computer with similar specs, it doesn't have to be exact, I think you're going to be able to edit 8K footage using Final Cut Pro 10 with no difficulty. Alright guys, so let's get to the editing portion. So before I begin, I always make sure that I create a folder specifically for 8K footage to make sure that those video files are going to be organized and that I can get access to them very easily. To do that, go to File create new and select library. You can name the library any way you want it, but for me, I'm gonna name it 8K footage so I can remember later that here's where I have the 8K files. Next, any file that you're not gonna be using on that project, delete them from the library as well. That's gonna make things faster by deleting unnecessary data from Final Cut Pro. Step one is to make sure that I'm giving a fighting chance to Final Cut Pro to edit 8K footage. To do that, go to click view, go down until you see quality, then choose better performance over better quality. That's not gonna affect the quality of your video, but only the way Final Cut performs. Here's an example so you can see the difference between the two. First, I'm editing the file using better quality and look how slow it goes. And as soon as I change to better performance, look how fast it starts to render. So this is a crucial step that you must do, especially when you're editing 8K files. Step two is to delete any unnecessary data that is created by Final Cut Pro when you're editing videos. When you're editing videos, Final Cut creates files and media that can be deleted from the library, as they create a heavier load for your timeline. To delete those unnecessary files, click on the footage that you're working on, then go to File, and click Delete Project Files, and choose all the options that you're gonna see there. This is gonna free up your storage within Final Cut Pro, making your timeline run smoother. And finally, step number three is super important for editing AK footage, and that is to uncheck Background Render. Final Cut by default is going to try to render the footage every 0.3 seconds, which is going to make the editing process very painful and very slow. To change that, go to the preference icon, click on the playback button, and uncheck background render. To render individual clips, it's better if you select the file and click option R. That's going to render the file that you're working on and not the entire timeline. Well guys, that's it for today. Hit the like button if you like this video. If you want to see more other Canon videos, you can click right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more camera filmmaking and drone videos. See you in the next one.